Hey friends, today I want to do a, a second video on how to make regular clip-on earrings into pierced earrings, hanging earrings, dangling earrings. Um, on the other video, I tried to use a handheld and do it with one hand and people said they couldn't understand me very well. So there's several different ways. I mean, if the earring that you want to make into a dangly pierce earring has holes in it near the top, you can put a jump ring through uh, or you can actually put the earring loop through. So there's several different types of pierce earrings and you can buy them at like Joann's or Michael's or some kind of craft store. But where I get my pierce earring pieces is I go to a secondhand store, get a grab bag of jewelry that I want to get anyway that might have silver or gold in it or some earrings or something that I like in it and then I just take the earring hooks off of earrings I don't like and I'm going to show you exactly how I do that um, and then use those so I, I don't have to purchase new parts. So for example these lovely green earrings that I just got in a grab bag. <laughs> Nobody's going to wear those most likely. So Right there, there's a set of, this is the most typical type of earring. So if the earring that you want to replace has, a, I'm just trying to see if I have one here that could work, has a, a hook in it anyway, or like a hole in it anyway, then you can use um, this type. You just take some needle nose pliers. They actually sell some that don't have the grippers so that you don't get rough edges but you can just put a little bit of tape over the edges of these around the top like masking tape so that it doesn't grab and cause it to be sharp but since i'm not actually going to wear these earrings i'm just showing you how to do it um you can do it then this one is kind of an overlapped let's see if this one is as well somebody made these and they're really cheap <laughs> crappily made so you can see the jump ring is like catching anyway and they probably wouldn't wear them anyway so you just take some needle nose pliers you can take two pair or you can use your fingernail and you can get them and then just pry it open so using the pliers and your finger you can pry it open so now it's open and then you just slide the earring you don't want off or the bead or whatever it is and now you have this jump ring and this hook and this is if the earring is uh, you want it to hang a specific way. So these were made um, and they weren't really made that exciting. So they were actually kind of made wrong. Because they put the little jump ring on it, they hang like this when you wear them. So you can only see if you're looking from the side. So what I would have done if I wanted to make these, these green earrings, the earrings say that they were, you would take the jump ring off and you would just use the earring. And I usually just use my fingernail. I just kind of pry it with my fingernail. And once you've got the, the bottom of those open, you can slide, it's not quite open enough. Um, you can slide the earring on sideways and then you don't need the, the, it just depends on the jump, the angle of the hole. So I'm gonna show you the one I'm just making versus the one they made. Okay, so without the jump ring, it dangles, bend that back, it dangles this way. Now it's hanging this way. When I got them, if it's hanging, it would look that way because it had the jump ring on it. So if the hole is front to back and you want it to hang this way, so let's say we were gonna do it on these earrings and there was a hole here at the top, you would just slide I'm gonna take that one off again. You would just stick it on like this. There is no hole, so I can't do it on these ones. And then you would just push that back and then it would be dangly. And you could then take the whole piercing thing off of the back, break it off with um, just pliers. I don't wanna do that because I need the back to make these earrings. So if it was easy like that, if there was a hole here and I could just slide that on there, and then it would hang like that. That's all you have to do to make a clip on um, a piercing earring. 
Um, and then I would just take the pliers and I would grab onto the top where the piercing thing is and I would just wiggle it back and forth and it would pop off. And that way it, you've made it into a piercing and it's super easy. So I have one that I can kind of show you that on. It's not, mm, okay. Anyway, so there's that option. If there's holes, you can put it in. Now, um, this one does not have holes to put it in. So there's a couple of different options you can use for these. Okay, so these are my mother's. These were my mother's out of her estate. They're clip-ons, they go on like this. Okay, so they're hearts and they've got little outcroppings. They are kind of a pewter color. So you can use, it depends on if you want them to be dangly down here or if you want them to be like that. So I, ha I have a ba baggies of these that I pull off of other earrings that I don't want. Like if I'm, if there's, uh, I think there's one, oh, there's one right here. Okay, so this was one earring. I don't, I don't even know how they did it. Okay, so this was in a jewelry bag, grab bag that I got, and this is how it was attached. So it really wasn't even attached to anything. It looks like they tried to fix it themselves and it didn't go well. So let me take it off. <laughs> so that's what I would do. If I get one earring like that, I would just take this part off and put it in the bags. I don't need to take it off because that's not the point. So this is just extras. So then I have a bunch of these in different colors that I can actually um, use. If, so if like one breaks or uh, I find one, I find a set of earrings in a grab bag and it's missing one of the hooks. I just have, and this is not all I have. I have like a big, big bag because I've been doing this for a long, long, long time, lots of years. Okay, so then there's these types that came in the grab bag today and, and it's like this. These are my favorite kind to make pierce into, I mean, clip on into pierce because I don't have to open any jump ring or anything. I just kind of pry it open a little bit and then if you take the back off of it, it's easy to just slide the earring up this way and off. Okay, see I took the bead off. So now I have a set of earrings that I can use really easily on a pair of clip-ons. So on this clip-on, I'm going to show you there's different ways. So this one, the heart, it this one matters which direction it's going because it's a pattern. If it was something like this, I could use the little part and have it go big or big and to go little. It doesn't really matter which side is up or down. Um, but on something like this one, it wouldn't matter because there's a hole in the top and the bottom. It really doesn't matter. But if there's a pattern like the heart, it matters that this part is up. So you can leave the clip on back on it and you can just slide the earring. Let's see if I've got this the right direction. Yeah, I think so. So you have to make sure that it's not going to be hanging backwards. No, nope, I did it wrong. So look, I'm going to be hanging it backwards. So you have to make sure when you put it on that it's going the right direction. So uh, go through the other way. Come on. So then you just take it off and you put it back through the other way. So what I did is I just put that earring, slid it on, and then you push that closed and you clasp, clip it like that. And then you can wear it like this and the earring uh, pierce doesn't even show. So there's that way. And if it's sliding around, if it's not staying where you want, you can um, clamp it a little bit tighter right there. And once you clamp it tighter, you can, if you want to leave it as a pierce and you like the way it looks, try it on, wear it once, see what you think. If it's moving around too much, you can clamp it tighter and then you can put a dab of, uh, now I wouldn't do this with really expensive earrings. This is just costume jewelry. If it's expensive, take it to a jeweler and have them solder it because you don't want to take a risk on like gold or silver if they mean something to you. If it's just an earring that you don't care about, you just can do this, what I'm showing you. So then you can clamp it tighter and then you can put a drop of, um, super glue on it and make sure that when you've got the super glue drying that it's at the angle that you want it 
And so I would just put a drop of super glue on it and then just um, make sure it's staying in the direction and the angle that I want. Because you don't want it to be angled down like this where you can't get it on your ear. So you clamp it and maybe put a little piece of plastic wax paper, not wax paper, but um, kind of a thicker plastic that you would get on the back of a watch or over the face of a watch, that kind of thick plastic. And you can put it under there so that the super glue doesn't go to the front of the, the thing you're doing. So you put this, the, the plastic here, put this down, clamp it a little bit tighter, put some super glue on it, hold it where you want it for a minute, and then it will glue and that way it won't slide around as much. So there's, there's that one way. If you want to take the piercing completely off, the, I mean, the clamp class completely off, there's a way to do it. It's kind of like a little spring. Can you see that? So when you're taking it off, you're going to push it together like this to get it out of the little um, spring thing. So it's like this. This is in there like this and you're going to push these together kind of hard push these together like a spring to get it out now if you can't do it with your fingers because that's kind of a weird I'm, I'm having a hard time holding it with my nails so if you can't get it off like just doing it that way you can take the pliers and you can do it this way so you just kind of squeeze them together and then those little teeny peg things right there will come out of the holes like that. So it's on there like this. You squeeze each of these together and they will come out of the holes, that little holes. Can you see the holes right there? It's almost better on my face. So then it will come out. The other thing you can do is if you can't get it out by doing that, you can take your pliers and bend these a little bit but you don't want to bend them too much because you need those in some circumstances. Like I said, if there's a hole in it, you don't have to do anything. You can just put the hook through, break this whole part off. Just take these and just break, you know, break them, do this. And that whole part will break off. And you can take a little fingernail file and file it flat on the back so it's not pokey. And then just have it hang from the hole. But because this decoration doesn't have a hole, it's solid. Um, we need this part of it. So now that we have this part, you can take a jump ring, a larger jump ring. You see that? And you can put it through those holes. So let me try and put it through those holes. And since I bent the holes out a little bit, I may have to bend them back in just a tad to get this on. And hopefully I don't break them. You got to be really gentle because a lot of times this cheap metal will break. So bend them back and then you can lace through that larger jump ring I'm going to do it with the pliers it's a little easier I think to get it on sometimes with the pliers okay they're not quite close enough for it to go through both what you can do if, if you don't have a jump ring you can take little fine jewelry wire or even take a bread, like a twist bread twisty, and pull the um, pull the white part off or the yellow part off, and use that wire to go through the holes. And then you can twist it and put the wire part. If it's pokey, just push it towards the center. You just need something. Oh shoot, where'd the jumping go? You just need something that's going to be able to hold the hook. So I need to bend this a little closer to get this jump ring on it. Hopefully, I don't break them so then once you have something going sideways through that hole so something that you can put a hook onto you can then put the hook onto that horizontal wire whatever it is sorry this is bent so much the other thing you can do is if you don't want to use a bread tweezel because it's kind of wimpy you can use another earring back so you could put this through the hole okay so now we have that through the hole like that. <laughs> these never go as well as I'd like them to okay I got to hold it from down here so it doesn't come off again so like this so it's through both of those holes in the back 
and then you would bend this part up like so. And you could use the those to, now it's like that, right? So you could twist that like a bread twister and then have it be your hook to hold because you've got that little loop right there. Okay, so I'm not going to do that because I want to show you this other way. So you could take the pliers now. I guess I can show you. Well, it's already ruined anyway, this back earring back. So I was going to use that earring back to show you how to do it with that type of earring back. But okay. So now it's twisted and it's on there pretty good. So then I would bend this metal piece down, this, one, this little part that's sticking up there, you just bend it down so it's hidden. I'm going to do it just to show you because there's lots of different ways you could do this once you kind of start thinking about it. Okay, so now that is down and you've got just that loop there, then you take your hook. Okay, so now you've got, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> okay, so that's the way to do it upside down. <laughs> Otherwise, you can make it longer. Don't make it so small on the back and do it through this way. And you could even, okay, so now it's like through that wire there. You could even glue that down like that using like that. Or you can take a very small piece of wire and wire it through there and hook it uh, onto this and twist it. So if it's the same color of wire, you won't be able to see it. Even if it's a silver, more silvery, you wouldn't be able to see it depending on the color of that. Okay, the other option is, if it doesn't matter if it's up or down, you can uh, use a Dremel drill uh, or a very small drill press, a very small drill, and you can drill through that part right there. See that whole thingy right there? You can drill a hole right through the center of it, but you can't put pressure on the whole thing. You just have to put pressure right on that hole right there. So if you use like a Dremel drill, you could drill through a hole through there and then put a uh, the earring hole through that there, if it doesn't matter if it's up or down, okay? So with this being needing to be up, you're gonna have to somehow wire it up through like I said I'm not going to wear these so it does I didn't want to like put a lot of effort into it usually this is the method that I use with that back, hole back there so if it's a pattern that it doesn't matter that's what I do if it if it's a pattern that it matters it's this method or if it's got holes in it in the right areas then you can uh, use that other one that I showed you. And um, this one could work also with, see there's a, like a, the pewter kind of is built up there where the, the earring would hit. So this is the top where the earring would hit is kind of pewter is built up there. You can also take the Dremel or a drill or a drill press and go right through carefully, you'd have to be really careful. Pewter's not extremely hard and, and neither is some of the other cheap. If it's a brass or a copper, copper depends on how thick it is. If it's a, a hard brass, it might, you know, you'd have to have a really strong bit and you might, it might break your earring. So just be really careful. If you care about the earring, don't do a drill. But um, if any of these ways hasn't worked that I'm showing you and you want it, if it's a pattern like this, 
if it was something I wanted to wear, these are just not in style. And even though they were my mother's, I, I think I'm going to use them for, um, on my daughter's bouquet in the center of my daughter's bouquet or something like, cause that would be meaningful. Something borrowed, something old. So, uh, not necessarily borrowed, but something old. And so it can be in the center, you know, on the flower of their bouquet. Cause my sister makes really pretty bouquets using jewelry from the person, you know, or family members. So, um, but if I, if I wanted to make these earrings and I cared, I would take a Dremel and I would drill right through the center of that thicker pewter right there. Very small. I have super, super small drill bits on my Dremel for when I was making jewelry out of silverware. I would drill holes in them and make uh, bracelet, fork bracelets and spoon bracelets and things like that. So just a very small drill hole right through the center of this. And then you would be able to uh, put that on it. And then you would see the hook a little bit because it would be hanging right like that through that hole right there. So, um, but you don't have to use only this kind. This is just the easiest kind. There's this kind that are, are fairly easy to use too, but you, on these kinds, you have to have a jump ring. They usually don't open. They don't have any openings to get anything on them. So you have to use the jump ring to put it on. So those kind are easy, but I like these kind because they don't come off. They're like more secure. So um, when I find earrings like this one, I would not wear this. It's just a seashell, but I like these earring backs because they don't fall off and I don't lose them, especially with COVID. I have lost several earrings. It, um, I go to church or whatever and I got the mask on and then I go to take it off and then I'm missing earrings and I go back and I look and then I can't find them anywhere. So I've lost two two earrings in the last couple of months that way. So now I'm always putting these little um, backs on them, trying to not lose them because I'm always pulling them off with the mask. So um, there's that type and then I showed you this type already. This is the most common type that I find. Um, and that's the one I took off already like that. I, I try and close them enough that the bead doesn't come off so that I have it when I want it. And then there's this other kind I wanted to show you in here. So um, if you're going to buy, buy them, if you're going to put some money out for them, then I would go with the, the self-closing. But you also get them in different colors. So this is a self-closing as well. And these are super, super easy because you see they don't even like... They don't even have a loop. You just slide these on. So these are my favorite kind. I keep these all the time. So let's see. This is the one that I didn't have a hole in uh, that was hanging upside down wrong. So I'm going to see if I can get it on there just by poking it through. So I'm just putting it through a hole so I can kind of show you what it would be like if it was on that hole. So if you had a hole, these come in silver and gold, um, and that way it closes in the back. You aren't going to lose it. It's hanging. If you, you know, drum, drilled that hole right in the center there, it it's dangly and it's kind of cute and it's hanging straight forward versus this one that the back still is on it. So this way you can break that back off. This one you wouldn't be able to break that back off, but I could still wear it. And it's, the hook doesn't show as much, but I could still wear them. Um, so these kind are seriously my very favorite. When I was a teenager, I was kind of a hippie. I lived in New Zealand as an exchange student for a year. I made everything into earrings using this type because it, it closes and latches on itself. I don't know if you can see that it kind of has a hook on it so you can kind of latch it on itself and then it's like a spring you just push push it and uh, unlatch it like this you see that and then you just push it in and it latches like that so these are my favorite kind except they fall out if they're not latched so that's not the best these kinds you can close up enough that they don't fall off. And I've used these many times and I've used these many times. But these kind, I I would take something like this fish here. 
that I would pick up at a, a it's broken. I, I just got it out of a grab bag, but um, I actually did make earrings out of this. So then I would just hook that on through that. Um, so I had these type of earrings when I was younger. And if you wanted it to hang uh, that right way, you just take this jump ring off and it would then hang sideways. Um, so if you don't like the way it's hanging, if it's hanging like this and you want it to hang like this, just take a jump ring off or put a jump ring on it and it will hang the right direction. Um, I made little, I got little cork bottles, teeny, teeny little cork bottles. Um, I just found some in a second at a dollar store. They had like six little cork bottles in different sizes for a dollar. And I would put like sand from my trip in New Zealand, the beaches, they have like black sand beaches and white sand beaches and the shell beaches. And I would put a little bit of those in and then I would put a little uh, screw and eye hook. And then I would wear my sand on my ear ears, <laughs> seashells. I'd poke a hole in seashells and put them on and, oh, I got these in New Zealand, you know? <laughs> That's because I was wearing whatever I wanted to wear because I was hippie. So, well, not hippie. I just was free. That's a free spirit. I'd wear whatever I wanted. So, um, do whatever I wanted. <laughs> so, it, it can be any kind you want. It can be these kind hooked on. These kind usually need a jump ring of some sort. So, and then any of these other types that I showed you. It can be any any different type. Just experiment. And even if you get confused, take it into a jeweler. Sometimes they can weld it for you. They could weld, like, they could even weld a jump ring on the back of this. So even if you couldn't drill a hole, they were a little bit more expensive and you wanted to keep them, don't weld with lead. Don't let somebody do it that's your friend that has lead because that can poison you through your body. But you can go to a jeweler and they can just do a little bit of a weld or they can drill the hole for you with their little jeweler's tools. They can just drill a cute little hole and it would you know, take it no time at all. It might cost you $15, but if they're meaningful to you and they were your grandma's and you like them or their costume jewelry or something. So I would say if they're meaningful to you, take them to a jeweler. If they're just something you found and you like, then you can try these different methods. Hopefully that was clear enough. There's so many different ways you can do it that it's kind of confusing. Um, the other, the, and the last option is, um, if you don't want to take the back off, so you want to keep the back on, you can thread some wire through that little hole there, right through there and then twist it like I did on this one. So instead of going through these holes, you can go through this little, you can kind of see them there. See those holes right there? You can just put some wire on, twist it on, some jewelry wire, or you it doesn't even have to be wire. It can be the jewelry, um, where is the bracelet that has that on it? It can be this jewelry plastic, or it can be this rubber, stuff you can just wire that through tie a knot in it put some super glue on the knot and then hang your earring hoop from that plastic thing and then then it will hang so that's if you don't want to permanently disable the back um so those are just some options there's plenty of the there's so many different ways you could do it but those are some of the ways that um, i have done it in the back in the past so hopefully that explains it check out my uh, i have another video that shows it on some little seahorse um, antique earrings i did for my daughter and um if that doesn't clear it up feel free to ask questions check out my blog thesecretsgratitude.com type in earrings uh clip-ons and uh or you can check out the video on YouTube. I will try and link it at the end of this video so that you can have uh, both options to see how to do it. Hopefully one of them will be clear enough. But if you'd like, uh, like the thumbs up, subscribe. I have over 900 videos and over 2,600 blog posts. So there's plenty of different things on there. Check them out. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I hope you have a super blessed day.